my favorite period of trumpets that Bach made are, are the early Elkhart horns. They're just something magical to these horns for me. And I want to tell you a little bit more about this particular one that just came in the shop. So stay tuned and uh, hang for this beautiful demonstration. Everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button, stay up to date with us. We have so many cool horns coming in. In fact, later today, I hope, fingers crossed, we will have, you know, hundreds of doublers arriving, finally. So if you've been waiting on a doubler, it's really close. And, uh, and if you've been uh, wanting to order a doubler, now's your time to get in line because uh, we'll have plenty of stock. Uh, so this one that I just heard, hopefully you enjoyed that beginning of In a Sent Sentimental Mood. Bach makes amazing trumpets, we know, and they've made hundreds of thousands of trumpets. Um, this horn just came into the shop via trade, and it really is fantastic. I'm going to take out my big sleeved mouthpiece to talk a little bit about this trumpet. So it's an early Elkhart trumpet, and you could tell it's an early Elkhart from a few reasons. One, it has nickel trim. So you can see the nickel trim here, 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 up here. Um, that used to be a st stock thing. It's now back in their anniversary series, but uh, sometime in the 70s, they got rid of, of that on a lot of their horns. Um, this is a rare combination. It's a medium bore. You could probably see, let me see. Yeah. So we'll zoom in there and so you can see it. That's medium. And then it does have my favorite bell, which is the 43. It's a little funky in terms of the finish wear, but let's see if we can focus on that. Yeah, 43, but it's got the corporation stamp to it. So it's very early. Um, this horn uh, is a great player, has great compression. Uh, it doesn't look the best. Obviously, you could see the horn. It's got some wear. Uh, I think if you stripped this, it would be awesome. Uh, it, it does have a couple speckles of red rot right at the beginning of the lead pipe. Now we've cleaned it and I think the lead pipe would be good for many, many, many years. Um, we did a pressure test, it's totally fine. Um, but uh, Kyle went through the horn and I mean, literally great compression. The valves look awesome. There's a lot of pictures on the link and the links are always in the description. So be sure to, to click it and check it out. Um, and what can I say? Medium bores, they get the bad rap sometimes because people think they don't have big sound shapes. And I think they actually do. Um, they might um, take away from the full extreme uh, sound. Uh, and it does box in the sound a little bit when you're playing at very loud volumes. But I love the intimacy of a medium bore. Um, so let me play some on this. And uh, this is a raw, unedited video and audio, and also I'm just using my 3CS with a sleeve on the clips, so.
very versatile sound shape. It's a box, so it's and and the 43 bell I really love because it for me the 43 doesn't close up as much in the upper register, and even with the medium bore it still doesn't close up. Uh, you heard at the very beginning of the clip that A was very easy to play, um, but this has great diversity in the sound. Um, I think people are, get scared at the medium bore. I know that a lot of players used medium bores. It was the standard bore back in the day, especially in uh, the New York period of box uh, manufacturer. So um, really versatile. Let me play an excerpt on it. It's just really fun to play. I love this trumpet. Um, and uh, not much more to be said about it. Check out the pictures in the link. Remember, the links are always in the descriptions. I'll play something poppy and end the video. Again, hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. Thank you so much for the great support you bring to our shop.